Hello everybody, Terry Jenkins here, and it's episode 3 of the Instagram Roundup. So we might do things a little different today. Um, first of all, Whitney's live. Oh man, I need a subscribe to her. She, she's so awesome. And like her energy. I think I like her energy. Um, like if you're going to talk to me about certain things, like I can talk to anybody. Um, now, if you're like really direct, I can still talk to you. But I'm probably going to get heated and then you're going to get heated. And it just, you know, and then I find a way to kind of like calm things down. But I definitely for a conversation with people. I'm not saying that you have to walk on eggshells. Like, why can't you be direct but be your bird choices be better? Or or I, I can't stand people who feel like being direct means you're rude. Like you don't have to be rude. You don't have to be your tone doesn't have to be like harsh, right? Like I don't know. I know some people are gonna say you're just sensitive, but I think I think there's a way to to just conversate. So, but um, let's look at Ian Press, and we got a dude sleeping with a werewolf, and the werewolf looks like he's probably a dude. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, webtoons and Wattpad. Um, when I got into Wattpad, I thought it was amazing, but I I also got discouraged because the sheer amount of romance <laughs> novels on that platform was crazy, and then on top of that romance, um, LBGTQ was massive. Like, it felt like to get noticed was never going to happen. And then, you know, and then I go to Webtoons, and I'm thinking, oh, well, Webtoons will be more, you know, because it's comics. But, nope, romance dominates at Webtoons. And the LBGTQ community um, show up, man. It's an amazing thing. See, you guys probably thought I was going to go to a negative comment. No, I think it's amazing. 
how they show up for those creators. And as a black creator, I think it just shows like how splintered we can be sometimes. Um, when it comes to support, because I know, like, I'm in, I'm not going to say the name of the group, but, um, one of the groups that I'm a part of with other Black creatives, um, everybody's always promoting their stuff, and I don't think there's nothing wrong with promoting your stuff, but I think in this particular group, everybody, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to throw myself in there. Um, can be kind of selfish. It's just kind of like, oh, I see your project. I might give you a like and say good job, awesome work, or whatever, and then leave it at that. Um, I don't think anybody ever takes... Now, I will say I have, and I'm not just saying that because this is my stream. If I say I'm going to check out your stuff, I really do go check out your stuff. Um, there's nobody who shared their um, their Webtoon link with me in this in the in the Black group. That I haven't followed. There's nobody who I haven't checked out their Instagram and followed them. So long as you know, I'm vibing with whatever they they are making. Because you know, certain things like if you're doing a whole bunch of devil stuff, I'm not. I'm not following. <laughs> um, you know, stuff like like that and like Black Sands is you know as much as I didn't care for for his attitude again because I, I feel like he's very you know he's just direct and that's him and that's what works for him um and but that's also why he's probably successful and i'm not right um not afraid to admit that so yeah so you know um the fact that he was able to get so many supporters from the black community was was awesome and you know and there's another creator on uh, patreon um I'm going to say their name because I don't know if they would like, prefer to be called female because to me they are female. But I'm going to say they. Um, she's generating, I mean, they are generating $30,000 a month. And, it's, you know, it's just like, man, the LBGTQ community really comes together and show up for one another. Now, Obviously, that's the only, <laughs> the only huge, I think that's the highest earning comic creator on Patreon I've, I've seen outside of Black Sands, but um, I just think, I think it's amazing. So, yeah, am I a little jealous? Yes, but, <laughs> but I do think it's amazing. Um, I'm just not into romance, so I wouldn't be into several of those series all right let's see what's going on on bt so the sbs were on i haven't watched the sbs in a minute i need to get back to me like i haven't watched the sbs since i was probably like in high school all right so let's see the winners the james family Presents LeBron James with his award. Um, I, I believe it was best record-breaking performance. Lil Wayne performs a Millie. That's one of my favorite songs from Lil Wayne, actually. Angel Reese, my new basketball crush. Best breakthrough athlete winner. Bravo honors takeoff while presenting. That's so, so sad about takeoff, man. That's got to be hard. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, best athlete, men's sports winner. Carmelo Anthony, honored by LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Paul. Her performs in honor of Zemi V Award winners. That's awesome. I love her. Jamal Murray, best comeback athlete winner. Yes, because for those of you that don't know his story or don't follow sports, he had um, an ACL, I believe, injury. And so he's been out for like the last two seasons. This was like his first full season. So to come back and to help the Nuggets win the championship. Law J. Johnson is one of mine. Also, just like um, she's teammates with Angel Reese. She's also a rapper. She's um, one of my new faves. 
So we're going to like that. I don't know if I'm going to keep saying I'm reviewing you. I think we'll just tag everybody and we like their stuff. And then if they check it out, they check it out. Um, the Roman Strata. has amazing support. Not my thing, but it's amazing to see. But is All right, and then we got Ian Press. Wait, was that Ian Press from earlier? Oh yeah, it was. So we're gonna always make sure. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, he has volumes one through four collected in a heavy duty. Oh my goodness! And he always goes out of his way to make the design some oh, man. I need to stop being broke. I wasn't broke like three months ago, and now life. <laughs> um, daily Bible verses. Life is a miracle, and every breath we take is a gift from God. I'm going to take every bit of anxiety, fear, and stress away from you and fill you with peace. <sighs> I'm, I'm trying to believe that. Like I told you guys before, I'm, I'm working on my, my faith. I feel like I've just done <laughs> so I I know everybody feels this way at some point, like you know, I just don't but he has really honored me and has truly blessed me in a lot of other areas that I feel like I have taken for granted. So um and still working on my faith. You're gonna help me to make decisions according to your will and not my emotions. God is watching over you. Amen. And you're thankful. When dragon and seahorse characters collide, one of the things I love about doing Dreamkeepers, the total freedom when it comes to character designs, for instance. Trust in God, your blessings are coming. Life is a miracle, and every breath we take is a gift from God. Don't lose hope. God is working things out for you right now. Amen, if you believe. I do I do believe. Probably not as strongly as I should. Um, vivid Publishing. Bible Quotes. All right, let's see. Crab grass. All right, eagle in position over. I'm ready to. Stingray is in position over. Thank you. Was that so hard? Copy, copy. Oh, uh, why does my Instagram does that? And not sure what's going on here. Very good thought for Chuckles today. He deserves it. And give your furry loved ones a big hug for me. 
Oh, the dog died. The dementia was too strong. I'll try and talk about it later. Oh. Wait, why is this not really up? I'm um, sorry to hear that. Oh, that's really has to suck. Alright, we'll, we'll like that. And we're going to, now what we're going to do differently is we're going to look at the hashtag black comic creators and we'll review the first six posts so we have here oh man he he's good what the heck is going on here my wife had a dream and i had a pencil what else do you want to know Mercana comic book, and since I share everything with the beautiful creature, she offers some insight. Who would I be if denied a creepy visual? Shout out to all the wait. Wait, I think that's awesome that Hillary is working along that well. <laughs> I'm reviewing your post. Oh, nice. I know. Oh, no. Very deep. Yeah. I hate people. We're gonna copy, and you guys are gonna see me like when it, when we find somebody new. I'm gonna put them in our in our doc here. So I'm not gonna friend them just yet, because I have you know obviously I will have to go through his profile. Maybe for that. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's what we'll do. So we'll say. Um, today's the 13th, July, 23, new accounts, visited, repeat. We'll put him down. Not sure if you guys can see that or if we're still. Wait, is this him? I don't understand how he only has four likes. Well, how long ago was that? Uh oh. Now, this is him reviewing other artists. Let's see. Yeah, Marvel Oh, 
Right, so it looks like salmon for sure. All right, Wolverine. Wolverine and Huckle. Oh, so I guess X Green is Green and Huckle. Oh, let me read. Oh, his wife is on Instagram too. We have Hot Girl and Batman. Oh, okay, it's just them together. Got it. Alright, let, let's check out your wife. Alright, she just has a personal profile. I thought I thought maybe she was a comic creator too. I was gonna say that's really awesome. Uh alright, let's see what else you got going on. Thank you. Oh, that's actually a pretty awesome idea. I see what you were trying to do there. Oh, you must be new to Instagram. Oh, well, welcome. Or maybe maybe you're just getting more consistent. I'm a fan. TikTok. Dope videos. Gets work. Commissions open. You got to... Why? I, I guess that's a good question. Um, for all my freelance comic book artists, why do you not post your like your page rates and commission prices? Like, I think that would, you know, is it now? I do know some businesses don't do it because that's how they lure you into converting with them. So I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking the practice. Uh, I've seen it. For especially for high ticket um, programs, but you know, I, I always wonder: do we not share it because of that? Like you're hoping that they contact you and you're able to convert them in conversation, or do you feel like your prices are like not you specifically? I'm talking to all comic book artists, so um, yeah. Uh, maybe that'll be my question of the day. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go back to the hashtag. Right, you know what? Uh, uh, I'm going to follow you. There there was nothing, like I said, there was nothing gross or nothing that I disagree with. So, yeah, we're, we're, we'll follow you. Um, uh, not not uh, not Stephen John. That looks like Stephen Terrell, so I'm going to say, uh, is it Oh, he has like a... It reminds me of like Fat Albert back in the day, that, but more modern. I like the I like the that I need to do better. Uh, All right. Oh, oh no, no, that is that really is. That, I don't mean really is. That is his last name, Cotterell. Cotterell. I'll let him uh, Alright, what else you got? I'm gonna agree for the tournament. Oh, so he's coming back to drawing. You know, animated characters take the lead in story. Representation really matters. I just had a conversation with my cousin. Not too long ago, guys, about representation because he's, he has swag and he's, he's against the, what he 
there's the book. Uh, I don't really think as far as like knowledge and stuff like that. I do feel like there should be more representation, but I don't think the story speaks to that. Um, so yeah, I agree. Let's go to your profile. All right. Founder and choir director at Powerhouse Fellowship. Owner uh, and CEO of Impact Gospel Recordings. Creative Soul Net. Creator of the Dynamites and more. Powerhouse. All right. Um, where can we learn about? Was the Black Thunder Cap? So, obviously, I, I already, already, already like the post. <laughs> Wait, did I like the post? Did I like the post? Yes, I did. Uh, let's see. See it loud, the history of black television. I don't see anything on here about the dynamites, though. I think we're going to still give you a follow because you're a fellow Christian brother. Wait, are you a pastor? Can I call you brother? Okay. And then, um, maybe he has it. Radio lights. Ah, I really would be. I'm curious to like. Maybe we could click here. Acquire with their own. <laughs> I'm not mad. We gotta gotta make that money. God bless. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't see anything about the dynamites. Uh, but he he draws. Oh, let's give him a follow. And we're gonna head back to our hashtag. Oh man, this looks this looks oh Ray looks amazing. I don't even know who the character is. This is an awesome like teaser. So who should we drop next? Find out soon. Can you guess who? Wakanda Forever, Black Panther. Oh, wait. Who would this be, though? All right. I feel like I've been to this account before. Wise Acre Comics, publisher. We produce comics. Welcome to Wise Acre Comics, where both storytelling, art, are revered, revered, and diversity matters. Creator of Magnus, I believe that's Omega. I, I, I think that's my uncle's fraternity. Nineteen fourteen. Link tree has a link tree. Always good to have a link tree. Highlights, highlights, issue four. 
Magnus. So Magnus is his book. Probably the lead book for their publishing company. Uh, oh, distributing through Diamond. That's huge. Submitted to Godhood Comics. I still remember the conversation I had with Tyler right before sending it in. In a way, he single-handedly refocused my entire perspective on how to approach the independent comic space. He is a trailblazer in this field and a visionary with a wealth of talent. And his success gave me hope that I too could sh share my stories with the world. Thank you, Godhood Comics. Am I following Godhood Comics? I think I was, and now I don't follow them. I'm not sure why I don't follow them. Hey, if I did, I'll follow them. Or it depends. I'm not sure if I, like I said, I'm not even sure if I follow them. I know I've heard of them and the God and family for giving me the opportunity to work with people I know I will cherish for a lifetime. It means the world to us that you have faith in this creative team and the results they produce. You open the door of opportunity, plant the seeds of a shared vision, and shape wise anchor comics into what it is now. We are family, got her comics. Oh, that's that's an awesome post. Is this a podcast? I guess technically I could turn this into a podcast and just use the audio. That means I need to make sure I'm talking more, I guess. Well, on uh, YouTube. I think I'm just going to say YouTube. Might get freaked out. Uh, yeah, that's an awesome story. Oh, look at look at this! This 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 is some good quality work, man. Magnus issues one through three available today digitally. We are taking pre-orders for all physical copies. So um, yeah, everybody check check out Wise Acre Comics. I don't know why I, I feel I feel like Godhood Comics and Wise Acre Comics. I feel like I've come across them in some shape or way or form. Not not exactly sure because I don't really delete people. Like I said, unless you start promoting some crazy stuff. Like, I'm not even one of those people where if I'm commenting on your stuff and you're not doing mine, I still don't unfollow you, so. Don't know why it's not taking me to their page. Uh, well, we're going to follow. And not sure why. House of Lies. Oh, because we already are on the page. <laughs> All right, unveiling heroes: the rise and need for black indie comic creators. Yes, that's that. That is like I talked about in my live the other day. That is my mission that I didn't even realize I, I've been on. Uh. Tavia is a writer, creator of the matriarch. And is that Harold? Not wearing my glasses. Writer, creator, spirit of it. Oh, all right. I'll 
with that. He's pro- oh, it looks like he's promoting. Octavia, if you if you happen to watch this, <laughs> I don't know if I want to meet you because you look like you will punch me in the face. All right, so yeah, we're definitely going to. Oh, yeah, it's a Kickstarter. I have a Kickstarter. I just never launched it. And let's see what you got going on with your link tree here. It's got a blog, Instagram, Twitter, submissions. I, I might, I might try. I might, I might, you know. Got my own company, but you know, I might submit. I might, I might submit, um, copycats. Because I definitely need some help. <laughs> How to submit. Understandable. I don't. I, I don't think we'll be submitting there. I won't. I won't explain why. That's awesome. So we we gave him a follow, like two of their posts, and let's go. We'll do one more. So we did one, two, three. Oh, well, that was the third one. Uh, and we followed all three. We talked to all three. I kind of do want to see this one, though. Something about Royal Oaks Comics. I feel like all of them are in Black Comic Creators on Facebook. And maybe i just never been to their Instagram. Because sometimes people just share whatever their most popular popular platform is, or they just share their website. And that's probably why I feel like I've seen them before. Whoever she is, she's my new crush. <laughs> the Ballard, the Ballad of Valkyrie Sinclair, number two, News. Coming this week. Until then, please enjoy this amazing Valkyrie art. And I'm always studying hashtags, guys, in case you ha- haven't noticed. She's fire. She's my new crush. Reviewing your account on my. Instagram roundup. So tonight at eight PM. I link in my bio. Positive vibes, man. Positive vibes. We're all trying to make it. Um, so let's check out their account. Home of Who's Bad Comic Book. Conquer the Galaxy or Die Trying. <laughs> A Ballad of Valkyrie Sinclair. Is it Ballad or Ballad? It has to be Ballad. I don't know why I'm doubting myself. From Los Angeles, got a Kickstarter. And followed by Tighten Up Comics, K Right. Alright, so Isaiah Arts, who we reviewed the other day. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this the actual. Oh my god, this is. Oh man. Now, I, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't know. I can't remember the last time I financially supported another black home series. 
um, which is why I don't get mad when nobody supports mine, because <laughs> um, I understand that money's tight, especially for those of us who are going to, so there's like the freelance way of doing things, and then there's the business way of doing things, and it seems like a lot of us are doing it the business way, so a lot of our money is going into paying artists, or paying, like for me, a lot of the money that I make goes to paying my artists, goes to paying for marketing, goes to paying for Patreon fees, um, general operating expenses, you know, so I, I get it. And then there's, on the personal side, you got your personal bills. So, you know, I, I used to kind of get a little mad because, you know, just like I said earlier, the LBGTQ community shows up for projects, whether they're creators or not. Um, but I, I've stopped feeling that way maybe like three years ago. And, you know, I started three years ago and I realized like, you know, people, people, it's not, it may not even necessarily be that they don't like my story or that they don't support me as a black creator. People got money and, and, um, you know, just money can be just tied up. So, you know, so now is that an excuse? I guess you can say it's an excuse, not just for me, but for other um, fans. Um, I know that's a topic that we talk about in the Black Comics Creator Group is how it's hard to, to get the Black community. Like, the Asian community supports each other no matter what. <laughs> um, one of the jokes I heard was the Black community, we still have family members or friends that will be like, oh, can I get a discount? Or can I get it for free? And it's like, I gotta eat. I gotta eat. I don't do this for, like, I, yes, I do it so that I can tell my story, but I want to get paid. I would like to get paid for telling my own story. And I know that's how some other creators are. I won't say all. I'm sure that there's some of us who are really all about the art. But this is, this is amazing. I might... I might try to do a kickstarter i'm unemployed right now <laughs> so the only income i do have is what i'm making for my for my books um and and if you guys think oh he must be making a lot no i'm not i'm scraping by but this this is 2000 wait am i reading that right 2000 yeah i'm, I'm liking it for sure that's my new crap. What? Get out of here. See, I was going to be like, can I have your commission rates? But I already know I can't afford to bring them on. This is amazing. So I have a, I have a project idea called Pack Matters, which is my horror comic. And it's got like verbals and vampires and stuff like that. I automatically think that... Um, because this, this looks like it's a publishing account. So I don't know who the artist of this right here is. Art by Thiago Jazz and Colors by... Oh, this, this is... Now, this is more superhero than what I'm envisioning. Like, m most of my projects in my head are more manga slash anime style. But I will be open. Look, look. I I turned Copycats into a superhero series based on my the artist who I did pay to do the character designs. He wasn't even going to be the artist of the series, and what he gave me made me go, "You're going to be the artist of the series." Like this is amazing. I would I I would. You might read uh, Royal Oak. Hold on. I, I gotta. First of all, I'm gonna like it. This is amazing. Can't stop talking about it. Um we gotta check out the artist. Coming July twenty twenty two. It's July twenty do you guys not post a lot? Do you guys need a social media manager because I'm available? <laughs> right. So this is the artist of that particular piece. 
Um, that page. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're probably a little. I might not be able to afford you works. Aww. Yeah, I'm gonna contact you. I'm contacting you right now as we <laughs> as we speak because I'll probably forget otherwise. I'll, I'll go back and do that later. I need to, I need to at least get this email started. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys, and then we'll go back. <laughs> that art was, was, was popping. And... Whew. I'm Terrell, and perfect for is you saying? Page now, I'm not gonna send it like that. I'm gonna, you know, be more business appropriate. I just need to make sure that I got that started, though. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm loving because I'm a little nervous because of the fact that um, I have werewolves and other horror supernatural creatures. And they're all going to be animal based, so you know I get I just get a little nervous about artists because I'm like I need to see that you can do that, and I'm definitely seeing it here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go off and say at least a hundred dollars per page is what they're probably charging. Wow, wow, that's 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 all I can. You, you're good. I'm falling down just because. <laughs> oh man! All right, all right. We get we gotta we gotta go back to the Royal Oaks comics. Oof, man, that made me sweat. Man, and then let's look at the colors real quick, and then we'll call it a day. The colors, man, I need to like. Don't get me wrong, my 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 creative teams, like my artists for all my projects. Obviously, I think they're amazing. Um. I really would like to get Pack Matter started. Like I like I can't afford to do like a whole comic book and I can't even afford to do four pages a month, which is my minimum goal. But um I would love to start kinda of like doing like the designs and stuff. They will be I'm gonna I'm gonna follow you. I need I need to make a note. Man. All right, back to Royal Oak. This is good, too. Man, I need, I need to get a business loan. <laughs> so that I can pay the artists on my other projects and bring on 
additional artists for these. Man, that's that's whew. that's all I can say. Um, all right. So we we review four black comic creators. Um, nobody on. Oh, I don't know who that was. All right, so that's it for our Instagram roundup. Um, real quick, we'll check out. I can't believe we haven't seen anything from CBR. I must not have them in my favorites. I don't have them in my favorites. All right, so real quick. Um, this guy played Warchet and Watchmen, and he wants to play Mad Hatter, reportedly. Um, I think that would be a good casting. Mad Hatter is a very underrated villain, I feel like, in the Batman lore. James Gunn's Superman Legacy finds its metamorpho in Gotham star Anthony Kerrigan. They're going to put metamorpho. Oh, Superman. All right. I don't know why I was thinking that. I guess because I, I saw. And Hugh Jackman's Wolverine bursts his claws. In the Deadpool 3 set. Alright. Batflex. Early revamped costume designs. Each one invoking a unique look for the Dark Knight. Yeah. I think we'll probably just do like a CBR only podcast. We'll see. Um, Alright. Well, that's it for today's roundup. Get ready to go and edit. As always, this is going to be available on YouTube. So if you are a YouTube watcher, make sure you hit that bell to be notified of new videos. Like the video. Comment on the video. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like. Be nice. Be respectful. That does not mean I'm weak. Does not mean I'm sensitive. It's just let's just be cordial. Like you didn't like it, tell me why. And just just tell me why. You don't have to be blunt doesn't necessarily mean rude. All right. And then um and make sure you subscribe to the channel because that will help me beat that algorithm. And then I can start monetizing and I can then I'll be able to put out better videos for you guys. And then if you happen to be watching this on Patreon, hey, go to one of the tiers. And subscribe to one of the tiers because, like I said, the more uh, money we have coming in, the faster we can get some of those other projects off the ground. And make sure you like the post. And then, if you are watching this, uh, well, you're not going to be watching this on Instagram because every time I try to upload it to Instagram, for some reason, Instagram says that it's too small or too large. And I'm not understanding why. But, um, so if you're watching this, um, uh, yeah, I don't know, those are the only two ways you can watch it. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Again, make sure you like, comment, um, make sure you tell me, um, any accounts that you know of that I should be checking out. And until tomorrow's episode, you guys be terrific. <laughs>